Sounds like it looks like a good party there. Uh, 36 year old Finnish Prime Minister Sana Marin, who's been called the coolest Prime Minister in the world by a German publication, was seen there partying, dancing with their friends inside of a residence. Crazy how that whole thing works. Now some of her colleagues are asking for a drug test. Yeah. Mm. And they're criticizing her for doing those things really fast. This drug test. So this chatting on the videos left her facing questions about the possible presence of illegal drugs with one person saying, this gives you a great feeling. But there was no direct evidence that drugs were being used. Still, it was enough for her opposition leader, Rika Pura, chair of the Finns party, perhaps mindful of elections next April, to suggest that she should volunteer to take a drug test. Uh, she did respond though, let's jump down to the fourth graphic really fast before we open this up. She says, these videos are private. They're recorded in private premises. I'm displeased that they have been published. What they're about is that I was spending an evening with friends, partying admittedly, admittedly boisterously, dancing and singing. How could you? <laughs> yeah, here's what I have to say Just to partying. that. Let her go, let her go. Are you, this is an issue, are you guys nuts? Do you have the, any idea what kind of problems we have in America? Your problem is that your prime minister is too cool? Okay, yeah, you should get a load of our guys. First of all, none of them are under 80, okay? They, I mean, the last time they partied like that was in like 1840s. So you've got this amazing, cool Finnish prime minister who's d delivering for you. Who cares that she's having a party? Let her be as boisterous as she wants. This is what we actually need in our leaders is human beings. Right. We need people who are actually going to represent anything close to what the common man is. And the common man in life has to work hard all the time and can't wait till you get to relax on the weekend. Everybody's working for the weekend, that's a song, do you understand? <laughs> we have to fight for our right to party. I mean, this is a well established need. The person criticizing, her opponent criticizing, literally says she's having fun at a party. Let's test her for drugs. Clearly someone who is a real buzzkill. That person can't even literally. fathom that you could relax with your friends or bop around to some music unless you're high on some kind of hallucinogenic substance taking you out of your very serious lane. We need leaders who are human beings who can relate to people and will stop having laws that do not connect to the average human experience. That'll solve so many things. She's my favorite prime minister, big fan. And let her finish the Finnish prime minister. Oh, I was gonna do the finish. Sorry, I, I was gonna to finish it. on that. <laughs> okay. One last thing, I would drug test her opponent. Yes. Because she apparently thinks it's impossible to have a good time unless you're sky high. So yeah, she's probably on such a doing? tranquilizer. She's like, oh, why am I seeing movements? <laughs>